them and they're too busy to care about me. My, my father used to beat me. I didn't mind it too much until he did it in front of my friends. If I had a kid like me, I wouldn't come home easy. I love my daddy, but I hate what he did to me. You're taking care of me here, because my mom used to wear nasty things to me. My mother couldn't feed me, so I used to steal things. I wish I was dead so I could be with my mommy in heaven. This is the true story of Daniel. My name is Daniel. I got eight brothers and sisters. I was the last one, so they don't like me too much. Except my brother Peter. My mom says she got too many kids. Sometimes I get enough to eat. Sometimes I didn't. Sometimes I would get scared I wouldn't get nothing. So I'd get up at night and steal food. In time, the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services became aware of Daniel's situation, and he was removed from his home. He was placed at the Evanston Children's Center, a residential treatment home for 30 troubled children, ages 5 to 14. Is this it? Mm-hmm. It's the Evanston Children's Center, and it's a wonderful place for children. Really. Why do I have to come here? The people here can help you and your family with your problems. There are lots of other kids here with problems, too. How long do I have to stay here? We don't know yet. It depends on how things go. I'm scared. It's OK. It's a new place, but it's a really good place. They'll like you here. And I think after you see it, you'll like them too. You wanna hold my hand? Do you have less to eat? All you want! Hi, Daniel. Hey. I'm Carmen, and we're so glad to have you here. Thanks. Hey. Hungry? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go get something to eat. <laughs> she was right. It was a pretty nice place. They had lots of food. The big people was nice. And the kids, too. They had all kinds of games and books and stuff. And they gave me my own room with a real bed. I even got my own drawers. It was nice and warm, too. And probably this is our new room. I like the place okay, but I miss my brother pretty much. I was worried about him because I thought he missed me too. 
Daniel arrived with bruises and scars in his arms and legs, but worse still with the deeper scars that didn't show locked in his mind and heart. Here you go, buddy. Thanks. You're welcome. Good night, Daniel. Sleep tight. They was real nice to me. They even gave me all the food I wanted. But I miss my mom, even though she didn't miss me. Daniel was seen as a very likable child, but had many difficulties sharing. Oh, can I borrow this? Hey, give me that. This is mine, not yours. Hey. Daniel, Daniel. Stop that. What's the problem? On a steep cliff on the edge of the sea, a tiny gully starts. After a rain, the water rushes down the gully to the sea. Hey, get out of here. Hey. This is my Hey, 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 hey Daniel. I want to listen to. Daniel, she can listen to. Daniel, listen to me. Take a deep breath. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Okay. The story's better when you share it with friends. Here we go. After a rain, the water rushes down the gully to the sea. He could never get enough adult attention or food. The initial focus of treatment was to help Daniel in sessions with his parents. But they were irregular in their participation <clears throat> and really didn't seem to care. We didn't do nothing wrong. He's just a bad kid who don't listen. None of our other kids acts like this one. We'd uh, like to establish weekly visits. Now, what's best for your schedule? Well, you know, we can't really come that often. I mean, we don't, we don't have transportation to get this far. We can bring Daniel to your home for visits, or we can give you transportation money to get out here. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I got all them other kids to look after. He's out of work and things. Well, it's important in trying to get Daniel back into your home. Well, why don't you just keep him? <laughs> Eventually, Daniel's parents just stopped coming. The days turned to weeks, the weeks to months. And Daniel made adjustments to life at Evanston Children's Center. I learned a whole bunch of new stuff. Derek and Michael taught me how to play football. Elaine showed me how to use a broom. The place got to feel like home. Daniel even made some good friends. Do you have a mommy and daddy? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. My dad ran away and he never came back anymore. Did he ever beat you up? Sometimes. How come? I was bad. I was bad too. You don't look so bad. You don't look so bad either. Carmen was my best buddy. It wasn't my fault they hit me. No, you're right. I'm glad you realized that. They were just sad and frustrated and didn't know what to do. They need to learn to deal with their feelings, too. She explained stuff to me all the time. When I didn't feel good, she made me feel better. When I was little, my mom used to hold me sometimes. I'm sure she loved you. She just had a very hard life. Do you think they... They'll come to the family party on Saturday? Oh, I hope so. I think they'll try. Okay, Daniel, you're gonna be the cleanest cat at the party, you hear me? Yeah, let's see how we can get this tack, okay? Stand up so you can see it, man. Yeah. I got myself all dudes up for the party. I got my tie on and I waited by the door. They were late. I hoped they were coming, but hmm, didn't look like it. They hate me, that's why they're not coming. You know your parents don't hate you. They just have a lot of problems they're working on. Maybe they forgot to come. Well, we sent them an invitation. You helped me mail it this time. I just don't know if they're coming because they don't have a phone and they haven't called us. I hope they're okay. Hey, I love that painting you did in class today. I'd like to paint. <clears throat> Slap down. Hey, a 
about those hot dogs over there. You wanna go get one? I bet no. you're hungry. No, not really. Come on, buddy, let's go have some fun. Come on. months of encouraging his parents to work with Daniel to no avail, the courts terminated their rights. My mom and daddy just can't take care of me, huh? That's right. They wish they could, but they can't. My old mommy and daddy can't take care of me. <clears throat> Can I have a new mommy and daddy? Yes. We're looking for a family right now who would just love to have a wonderful, intelligent boy like you. What if I start stealing food again at my new mom and dad's house? Now, I bet that wouldn't happen. But if it did, your new family wouldn't hit you. They would talk to you and find a way to solve the problem. That would be so good. A family with two other children wanting to adopt a child Isn't found Daniel. Isn't he precious? He's a great kid. <sighs> Daniel's new parents were invited to one of the family parties, and of course, Daniel waited by the front door. They were a little late. So I got myself all dooted up again. I even got this new shirt. I didn't think they were ever gonna come. They're late. They promised they'd be here. I bet they're not coming either. You remember yesterday when you talked to them on the phone? They said they would be here. My belly hurts. You're just nervous, buddy. You've been disappointed before. As Daniel's new family walked through that door, his eyes once again filled with tears. But this time, tears of joy. He's come to know something he's never known before, love. Daniel's is a true story, one of the hundreds in the history of the Evanston Children's Center. Unfortunately, not all end as happily. But life goes on at the Evanston Children's Center. In a crowded building over 80 years old, 30 children live in care, and love, and hope.